Hi, you're looking at uh, Tiny Timer Classic Edition. And uh, this is a complex cycle timer. Currently, it's running a cycle that is about two seconds on and three seconds off. The green LED indicates that the relay has been energized, and uh, the red LED indicates that it is in wait state. There is a reset button here. Um, you know, if you're running a long cycle, you might actually want to reset it, but otherwise um, it's not something I expect you to use very often. There is a 6-pin ISP header for programming and customization here, and then there's an ATtiny 85-20PU chip right here. That's the microcontroller. The there is a little bit of a filter here, um, so there's a resistor and a capacitor to help um, prolong the life of the relay. The relay is rated for 10 amps. The traces on the board are rated for 4.5 amps. This is the relay connector. There is a diode, um, which is difficult to see right in front of my finger, and the diode protects the transistor right here from um, ripple current um, from the relay opening and closing. Um, it was tried to you know design this so that it would last a long time and um, hang on one second and I will show you an actual tiny timer in operation. So you're looking at my water heater and this is why I have tiny timer. Now you're looking at the inside of my garage, and um, I like to take warm showers in the morning, and I don't like to wait. And I also think it's bad to waste tons and tons of water. So I installed that red pump on the right, and that cut my water bill by $20 a month, which is a great thing. However, um, that red pump costs $70 a year to run. Um, it uses, like, you know, 60 watts or something. It doesn't use much. But I got to thinking, you know, I could still have hot water if I only ran the pump for a couple of minutes and then waited for a few minutes. And so that's where Tiny Timer came from. There is nothing on the market that does this type of control that is based on an AT Tiny that is easily hackable, easily customizable, and inexpensive. Um, so I put together Tiny Timer, and uh, in this particular application, it waits for 450 seconds, and it runs for 75 seconds, and that's enough to make sure that I have scalding hot water in my house at all times. Um, and it cut the operational cost of that pump f from $70 a year to 7 So I went from spending $240 a year on wasted water to spending $7 a year on um, running a recirculating pump. Um, Tiny Timer is $15, which includes the board and all the parts necessary to assemble the kit. And uh, it's a great it's a great first project if you're looking to get into hacking or, or building. And here you can see the inexpensive $2 uh, transformer that's used to run Tiny Timer. Um, and this has been running continuously for uh, five months now with no problems whatsoever.